Exploring folklore and traditions, what do we uncover? Join us and the Consul General on a journey to China's time-honored towns and villages for fresh discoveries. Oh, hey! Whom in Meizhou will join me in singing Hakka folk songs? I'm coming! We're dancing the Pingyuan Boat Lantern Dance, but it seems we're feeling a bit seasick. In this episode, you can fully appreciate both the dance and the music. Accompanied by Pakistani folk music, let's experience this moment of harmony together. Picking fresh tea leaves, singing Hakka folk songs, and overlooking Shizheng Town in Pingyuan County of Meizhou City, I feel like I've entered a Hayao Miyazaki anime. Beneath the blue sky dotted with fluffy white clouds, the rolling green hills stretch to the horizon. The little village dogs look charmingly naive, and beautiful birds chirp in the woods, all are welcoming me. A gentle breeze spins in the colorful windmills, tints the graves in the orchard with fresh green, and carries the sense of nature to me. The most iconic sound of nature is definitely the gurgling of the running water. Stepping into Shizhen Bay on a carefree day, you can splash in the clear river water for an exciting water fight, reliving your childhood memories. However, the river never lingers, but flows merrily into the distance, sharing its happiness with the five villages along its way. On this harmonious and lively land, the connection between people and nature and the bond among people jointly create a captivating rural melody. Today, I will invite a music lover to this river-sustained village to experience its beauty as well as the harmony among its people. Very amazing, especially you know the sound of the water park and the greenery and the peace and the calm that you can experience here. I'm glad to hear that you love this place. This river also become a very famous tourist attraction, which attracts more than 20,000 visitors uh, on a single day during holidays. I can imagine. Also, you know, tourists from outside can come and enjoy their times. It's good for. Uh, the ecology, good for uh, the economy, good for the people. Actually, this river goes through five villages. So uh, it's a very important water source for the local residents. Oh. This place is a hub for the local residents to gather around, to connect each other. Really? Yes. I can see a number of people from the, probably they're from the villages. Uh, they're quite happy. I think yes. if you live here, you will enjoy the life here. We have a Chinese saying, when Wherever there is water, there will be some boats. So would you like to see some very folk and special boats in Pingyuan County? Special boats? A boat that can roll on land won't make a good boat dance. For over 200 years, the Pingyuan Boat Lantern Dance has thrived in this area. In the performance, while one actor sways the boat as if it were rolled in the water, the others sing and dance and sink as if they were sailing the boat. For each festival, diligent villagers would gather to perform the Boat Lantern Dance, celebrating bountiful harvests and valuable peace while praying for a prosperous and stable nation. What happened? They're just kidding. Oh yeah, this guy is trying to attract this lady's attention. So he got the attention, I think. He yes. finally succeeded. And the boat is moving away. What happened? 
happened to that boat? <laughs> Yes, it's but like it will come back. But this the music, you know, might have been, you know, it, it also has some some origin, you know. <laughs> yes. Do you know this performance will always be presented with Hakani's songs? Mm -hmm. they That's were... amazing. But I mean, it's like very, very uh, rhythmical, you know. When you see the boat movement and the dancers movement, so it means it needs a lot of practice. Have you ever tried this Hakka dance or this... Uh, I, I didn't try that before, but I'm really interested in trying it. Would you love to try? I think one of my sons would be more than happy to try it because the youngster would <laughs> love it more. <laughs> Maybe I could have his company to try. Yes. Guy, right, come here. Come here. Yes, yes. Try this thing. It would be good. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, okay. right? Like that? Okay. One, two, three. Ah! One, two, three. Okay. I guess maybe we need to speak Hakanese because the man inside don't, don't know the rhythms. Yeah. Well, very welcome. We are very good partners. We are marvelous. Very good, very good. Uh, how do you? Great job. How Great do you job. feel about our performance? That's wonderful, wonderful. For beginners, it's marvelous. It's perfect. Wow, uh, thanks for yeah. all. But, it, but it's us close. In this yeah, way. it was close to perfection. He did also a good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Who would have thought that our both lantern dance would go so well with Pakistani music? Unlike the Pinyin Folk Lantern Dance, which does not have fixed themes, Pakistani folk music often features recurring motifs such as the moon and stars, the earthly life and the afterlife, red flames, and valiant lions, etc. Today, the Consul General invites me to a Pakistani folk music party. The exotic melodies of this instrument with ancient rhythms intertwined with contemporary sentiments are so unique that they carry me away. Wow! Fantastic! Fabian, thank you very much for joining us. Let me introduce our music team. We have from Dalian, Mr. Well, Atta with Rabab. Oh, beautiful! Good. Uh, we have Mr. Ubaid from Xi'an and he is playing the keyboard. Mr. Junaid is coming from Lanzhou. He's also a Pakistani student and he's playing the drum. Oh, very rhythmic. Normally we have this uh, kind of music on oh. festive occasions, when we have a happy family gathering, some wedding, some happy occasions. Mm. So we have uh, music like this and I hope you would like it. Oh. And I've noticed that oh, these instruments are pretty vintage. Oh yes, yes. Uh, it's called Rabab. It's like uh, it started around more than originated seventh century. Seventh century. Seventh century. Oh, yeah. May I have a request? Can yes. I give you a go to try this instrument? Yes, is that sure. is that difficult? Yes. But it's very really difficult. Not that easy. Unless and until the teacher is a good one. Like okay. Thing, I need really. to use this car to yes, pluck it, right? Yes. Oh. So you tell me, like the other way, like this, it would yes, be. Would yes, be, yes, yes. Take okay. from here to go like this. Okay. Let me try. Oh, okay. Let me try. From top to bottom. Yes. Wow! Yes. You can sound? be a good student. Thank you. Yes. Would you like to join the band? Oh, can I? <laughs> May I ask what would you do for this uh, band? <laughs> I can be music director. Oh, music director. Yes. Okay, I'm looking forward to your instructions. Would be my pleasure. Okay, uh, shall, we, shall we begin now? Yes. Bibi Zarini, a Pakistani song that transcends languages and culture, moves me with the sweetness and sincerity of his lyrics, The whole world is beautiful because of you. As night falls, the music goes on. The beautiful melodies of the rhubarb, the vibrant beats of the drum, and the tantalizing aroma of sizzling barbecue. 
the joyful laughter of children, all resonate in harmony at this moment. Music is truly a universal language, allowing everyone to find a common rhythm no matter where they come from. As the melody rings out again, everyone starts to glide through their Pakistani dance steps gracefully. Let's all embrace the lively harmony and resonance of the music and the dance. The strings of the rubab have been weaving together tales for over a thousand years. The shimmery lights in the boat lamp and dance illuminate the stories of today. If the penguin boat lantern dance conveys fiery passion through its vibrant colors, and the richness of the rubab melodies lies in each plug of the strings. It is the peoples of different cultures that feel a strong sense of connection in the captivating and resonate rhythms and movements. Perhaps this is the magic of ancient music.